Good afternoon. Um, I just wanted to be the first person now um, representing the People's Republic of Cork to welcome uh, Charles and Camilla, Your Royal Majesty. Ness. I'd love, I'd just love to welcome you to Cork. We're so delighted that you're here. And I'm sorry, no, I couldn't make it into the city centre to welcome you in person. But like Charlie Boy, between you and me now, I had a fair stodgy chipper last night. I've been on the throne now all night, you know yourself. Oh, and Chazers, on behalf of the people of Cork as well, boy, congratulations on getting a new daughter-in-law. But come here, truth be told now, though, were you raging? I say we're raging, right? Because you know about Megan, like, you know, the obvious about Megan, like, the fact that she's, like, divorced. Were you, were you scarlet, like, but you had to pretend you were grand about it. I see, your man was fuming, was she? But you'd never know, you came across very well on the telly. Were you bricking it then in case what your dad would say? Philip's a hoe, like, you wouldn't want to come out of his mouth. Oh, Chazers, ain't gone all off topic here now. Anyway, you're very welcome to Cork, boy. You're lucky you came on a Thursday, actually, because Tuesday's Dicky Day, and town to be mental, like, pennies to be thronged. We're so delighted to have you here, like, and I'm delighted that you're going into the English market as well, because you meet Pat O'Connell. Like, Pat met your mam there a couple of years ago, and Pat was telling me that there was an awful smell of mackerel off your mam, right? But, I mean, they had a great laugh about it, like, she's a hoe, she's not half as stuck up now as they make out in fairness. Come here, Camilla. I'm not ignoring you. No, you're royal duchessness. Come here. I meant to tell you, you know we have a duchess cake in Cork. It's actually called like a donkey's gudge. It's not named after you. No, Camilla, don't be getting a big head like. Camilla, one recommendation I'd love to make to their girl, right? Because you look like a woman after my own heart, right? Um, go over to Grand Parade, right? Go into Hillbillies and get yourself a breast and a bun. And when you have it, then go over, cross the road, sit down on the fountain and eat your breast and a bun on the fountain. Get a tub of curry as well if you want to dip it in, like. Massive. Like, it's even better now after a few scoops, like, but Camilla, if you have a big enough handbag, girl, you'll easily fit a few cans in the bag, a few naggins or something, do you know what I mean? I know, I know you're going to some fancy party in the city hall tonight, right? But later on, like, after that, like, uh, we have a tradition in Cork known as bushing, and I'd like to cordially invite you, like, if you want to come, like. So what we do is we go into the off-license, get a bag of cans, go into the field, then sit around the field and just drink until you pass out, like. You'll have such a laugh. You're more than welcome now. Bring chasers as well. And like, don't be expecting a big feed down the city hall, like, because they'll only feed you like picky bits from Iceland trying to be all posh. But like, later on when you come bushing with us, right, Apache Pizza will deliver to the field. On us now, on us, honest to God, now you get a double D of 20 euro, you're not putting us out at all. You're more than welcome to come, we'd love it. Yourself and Chazers. On that note now, Chazers, Camilla, I'm going to love you and leave you, all right? Come here. I'm absolutely thrilled, absolutely thrilled now that you're here, right? Bit annoyed now that she kind of closed down half the city, like you closed all the roads and all. I mean, look, you've a fair bit of notions about yourself, but you're like, why wouldn't you? You're royals, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I hope to see you bushing later, all right? Take care.